Hi there! Oh my! What's happening? The power must have gone out. There are different kinds of power plants in the Philippines like the geothermal, hydroelectric, and wind power plants in Sorsogon, Bulacan, and Ilocos respectively, but we still can produce enough energy to supply our country. However, there is one power plant that is non-carbon emitting, user-friendly, cheap, labor-saving, efficient, ample, and reliable. A nuclear power plant. Wait, what? Nuclear energy? Isn't that dangerous? Hmm, well actually, no. There is one power plant in Bataan, finished but never fueled. Which brings up the question, should we continue investing in nuclear energy? The answer is simple, yes. Despite the incidents in Chernobyl, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki, nuclear energy is considered safe and reliable. Researchers have now developed safer and easier ways in handling radioactive materials. Nuclear energy is also cheap and efficient. It does not depend on the fuel nor the weather. Nuclear energy uses uranium using nuclear fission to turn steam turbines. A single uranium pellet with the size of a pencil tip is enough to generate energy as about 500 cubic meters of natural gas, 800 kilograms of coal, or well over 560 liters of oil. Plus, the price of uranium alone is really cheap, only costing about 2,250 pesos per kilogram. The Bataan nuclear power plant alone can produce about 75% of the country's needs. The construction of these power plants may be expensive, but the high amount of electricity that it produces in low cost will surely compensate it in no time. Lastly, nuclear energy is one of the most environmentally friendly types of energy. Nuclear power plants are small enough to fit in a football field. Plus, they do not burn fossil fuels nor expel harmful carbon emissions. We've already started, so why stop? After all, nuclear energy is reliable, efficient, safe, and timely. So rest assured that if we pursue the integration of nuclear energy in the Philippines, we will be looking at a brighter future.